Hi everyone, welcome to Tamarap Studio. In today's live stream, we will look into drawing a figure of our model with these color pencils. I was shopping in an art supply store and I saw those and I was just wondering how they work and what I can use them for. And you might have seen another live stream video on my channel when I just sketch an outline with them. But today I'm going to try to do some shading with them. And we'll see how it works. So without further ado, let's get started. I'm going to start with this one. It has more <clears throat> warm outline. I really like to have some yellow when I work on my figure sketches. And um, because I have to record, I unfortunately <clears throat> don't have a live model here, but I'm working from a photo. And I mean, that's good too. And I will try to work similar to how I would work with a live model, work really loosely and quick without getting stuck for too long on the details because I want my sketch to be kind of lively and expressive. So I'm going to put down the contour. If you watched my fast figure sketching class, you can sketch people. It's available on Udemy and Skillshare, you will know that I always start with a simple outline, which I then fill in and verify, and then I add details. So that's the order in which I usually work on my figure sketches. That's it for the outline, I think. And now we will try to put in some details. The stage I can add some features to the face. <clears throat> and also when I work on figures, it's usually a good idea to look at your overall design. So <clears throat> she's kind of like a single element on the page. So probably need to do something to fill up my page. It can be just totally random things that will help me connect my figure to the edges of the page. So I'll just kind of hint that there is a shadow behind her and maybe something on this side and just composition looks a little more finished. Now that the outline is ready, I can start working on the shadows and I think I will use this pencil. It has more blue in it and we'll try <clears throat> to indicate the shadow portions. And at the same time, I'm verifying my sketch and I'm adding the details. So I'm not just randomly following my outline, I'm trying to verify it. And as you can see, I don't draw every separate feature. I also, I work on the sketch as the whole and treat it as the whole. There will be a deep shadow here on this side of the face and under the head. And there is a blue band here on the head. Heads are pretty hard to do, they kind of the main thing you need to remember is that they're on the on not on top of the head, but they're actually 
push down so if you see that your head is kind of floating in the air on top of the head it means something is not right in your drawing and hers is actually yeah pushed pushed down pretty far and I also don't like using the same color everywhere so I'm gonna try to switch my pencils as well and with those pencils if you not getting the right color it's they, they're hard almost impossible to control but what you can do is maybe turn them and you will suddenly get a different color but I think that's the beauty of this material is that you know it's kind of crazy and unpredictable so keeps you on your toes as the artist But I did a few sketches with those before and I really like the results. They're unusual and interesting, so I want to learn I want to do a few more of those and play with it a little more. Big strokes, it's even see how I'm getting variety of color, it's even more interesting. I wonder if I can erase it because I'm not too happy with this face. It doesn't erase completely, but you can lighten it, which is good. Just want to lift some of it on the face here and fix my details a little bit and as usual when we draw it's very important to know when to stop I really like how those lips turned out so I need to restrain myself from touching them again okay big shadow here on the arm I'm gonna put it in I think she needs a little more body here. And we can mix them together as well and it will be good. Okay, let's see. I need, this is my warm side, so I'm going to Use this pencil and hope I can get some orange in. Well, green for now, but it's okay too. <laughs> this shadow on this side is pretty warm. Okay, maybe I will. Verify this line a little bit. Okay, and I think I need something in the shadow here. See, when I hold it far away like this, I can actually work with broad strokes. I think I'm gonna <clears throat> shade her on top, make her look a little more as a solid object. She, right now she looks a little transparent. We can even do some light sketching, uh, sh uh, shading, and I'm gonna leave this as white. Maybe shade here to kind of make her stand out from the background. And let's put a few details here. Her 
hands need to be drawn in. This is the other hand and the arm starts here. No, that's not long enough. Hold on. Yeah, the wrist will be here. This is going to be her arm. Okay, this is looking good. I think I need a few darker details here to balance the top. You want your sketch to be balanced throughout and maybe a few more details on the skirt. And I think I need to leave the face alone. Maybe a few more darker areas on the top and I think you're done and if you like a sketch always sign it and that's it for today and I'm planning my next live stream on Tuesday this coming Tuesday January 7th it will be at 9 30 and I will test some slow drying acrylics I will paint some flowers with them and I think it will be a really interesting live stream. So make sure you subscribe to my channel and you will get notification when I start live streaming and you can watch me paint some flowers with acrylics. Bye for now.